Hi, in this video we are going to show you how to connect to your DVR. Uh, first thing you need to do is open up Internet Explorer and once it's on you should know uh, what your IP address is to connect to the DVR. Uh, there are two types of IP addresses, an internal and an external. Uh, you can find what your external is by going to whatismyip.com and the internal is displayed in the networking menu on your DVR as long as you have your DVR network properly. Um, here our DVR IP address is 192.168.0.129 when we connect to it it gives us this little yellow bar and we're using Windows 7 and Internet Explorer 8 now you right click on this bar and click on install this add-on on all computers it'll say this is an unknown program Do you, are you sure you want to make changes to your computer, you click yes, it'll still throw you an error and it'll say there's a security warning and Windows has blocked this program. So enable to enable your DVR so you can see it on Internet Explorer, what you do is you go to Tools and Internet Options. There are two ways to go there. Either on the right hand side of Internet Explorer you'll see Tools and then you can click on Internet Options and come to this window or if you don't see this on your Internet Explorer, what you can always do is click the ALT key, that's the A-L-T key on your keyboard. Once you do that, it'll bring up this little file menu. If I press it again, it goes away. One more time, it comes back. I click on Tools, Internet Options. Now what we want to do is add this IP address for the DVR into the Trusted Sites. So you click on Security, you click on Trusted Sites, you click on Sites, and now you add this. In some browsers you may have this already checked. It says require server verification as an HTTPS. You want to make sure this is unchecked and here you have the IP address of the DVR along with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in front of it. You click add and then press close. Then you click on trusted sites one more time click on custom level and here we're going to enable ActiveX controls for this trusted site that we specified which would be the uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of the DVR we click enable for all these ActiveX controls so here we have one, two, enable, third in order to for you to know where to start enabling everything you come to this part that says run component signs with authenticode after that it says ActiveX controls and plugins this is a major category for all different levels of scripts and options to enable so let's go through them one at a time we make sure every single one of them is enabled and in this case it is now you press OK then you press OK one more time now we try connecting again to our DVR it comes up with this screen again asking are you sure you want to continue you click yes it says in some certain cases if you already had this installed before it'll say are you sure you want to confirm and replace older files you click yes if it keeps asking you keep on pressing yes until it comes to this screen where you'll start seeing the login screen for the DVR So if you see Windows thinking here, the browser thinking, give it some time, it's actually downloading the applet from the DVR and then it shows you the login screen. Your default username and password are admin and admin for the DVR. You click on login and it should give you a screen like this. In our case, we click on the first camera, it brings up the first camera in its main stream. If you want to select the extra stream to reduce bandwidth, you click on the camera and click on extra stream. You'll see next to each camera there's a little arrow and you can select extra stream to change to that. Alright, this has been just a brief overview of how you enable ActiveX con controls on your computer. So again, remember, you have to make sure you go to Tools, Internet Options, the Security tab, click on trusted sites and then click on sites again add 
and make sure this IP address URL of the DVR is entered in. Click OK. You click on Trusted Sites one more time. Click on Custom Level. You scroll down. Start from here where it says ActiveX Controls and Plugins and go down and make sure every single one of them is enabled. Disable or Prompt will not work. Every single one of them for this Trusted Site has to be enabled for you to be able to see your DVR. And this is for Internet Explorer, remember, on Windows. All right, thank you for watching this video.